In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily convert decimal to binary. Say we have the number 124. The trick is that we're going to repeatedly divide the quotient by 2. Starting with 124, we will divide this number by 2. The quotient is 62. And we need to keep track of the remainder. 124 divides by 2 evenly. There is no remainder. Remainder of 0. For the next step, we take the quotient, in this case 62, divide that by 2. 62 divided by 2 is 31, with a remainder of 0. Take the quotient again, in this case 31. 31 divided by 2 is 15, but we do have a remainder, a remainder of 1, because 31 does not divide by 2 evenly. Take the quotient 15, divide this by 2, equals 7 with a remainder of 1. We're going to do this until the quotient is 0. 7 divided by 2 gives us 3 with a remainder of 1. 3 divided by 2 equals 1 with a remainder of 1. 1 divided by 2 gives us a quotient of 0, and this is where we're going to stop, with a remainder of 1. Starting from the bottom and working our way towards the top, all of these ones and zeros, our remainders, are going to give us our binary number. The bottom number is the most significant bit, with the top being the least significant bit. 124 in binary is 111110. 111110. And that's how to convert decimal to binary.